Okay, I think we're up. I think we're ready. I think we're good. So, who's with me tonight? Good evening. Good evening. Welcome, welcome, welcome to what we're doing here. Delete all you guys and uh, let's take a look at what we've been doing the last couple of weeks before we get started today. Design Pro, uh, CAD Pro, what's going on? Kim Land, Kim, I feel like I have such a, <clears throat> such a better understanding of you. Now, Kim and I were able to have a wonderful Zoom call the other day. And, uh, um, yeah, I, I, I liked Kim. Now I really like Kim. So awesome. Very cool. Uh, Julie, what's up? You get full applause. Am I sick? Uh, let's say no. Um, so that's, that's my answer. Um, and it's been a couple of weeks, guys, but the last, uh, last time we were together, I believe was the 4th of July, and we did a, um, a star-shaped house. Uh, aw, Kim, you're too sweet. Thank you. Uh, that's awesome. We've been, <laughs> we've, uh, we all had a good smile after our call in the office here, uh, in the office there, I should say, after we met with you. You're, you're going to be, uh. You're you're a popular one, popular one in our office now. Let's say that. Uh, all right. So today, guys, we made some decisions, and um, <laughs> we uh, today are going to do a thing. We decided, uh, based on the votes on our Facebook page, that we are going to design a new home from scratch. But a few people had asked me. Um, about modifying a plan or improving a plan and how we would go about bringing that bringing that into Revit and uh, what's involved with that. So we are going to start because I may have to duck out a little early tonight and um, that, uh, that's just how it goes sometimes. But so if everybody's ready, all six of us, we're, we're going to start with our little intimate group and it's going to grow and grow and grow. So... If you're ready, if you're ready, I'm ready. So I have a floor plan <clears throat> that I was given um, from someone to see if I could make it better. And we wanted to do it on a um, kind of a unique, not a unique, but more of an irregular property. So we, we're, we're dealing with this pie-shaped property here. Um, so this um, property is who wants to name it mike where are you michael you said you were going to name my name the street today so it is on a cul-de-sac so it will be a crescent and it also uh backs onto a golf course back here so it's kind of got some really cool um uh views back here i wonder if i have a bigger there's my room there we go and let's make that all caps so <laughs> challenging uh, it's 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 different from what it's the exact same and completely different from what we're used to so um we're gonna work on that so i need a name of the street and michael where are you michael um because you said you were going to um name it i give you full naming rights and where are we hmm All right, not there. So we will, we will get to it. So I was given an image of a floor plan from the internet, and I was asked, so so what do you do with that? What's um, like? How do I make something of that? Will Revit automatically rebuild it? Do you have to redraw it? What's going on? Um, and uh, and I'll show you the steps that I take to make that happen. Meg, what's up? Meg, what's up? Hey, Kev, Kev made it. Him and his yo train. So Kev, we need the we need the. Oh, Kev just showed up, Kim. He just just beat you here. Um, so here's what we do, guys. There's there's a way in Revit that we can import a variety of files, like like most other files. So up here there is an insert tab, and from there 
now there, there's two things that you want to be mindful of when you're in this tab because there's um, options to link files and then there's options to just import them and the difference is, is kind of self um, explanatory if you just import it uh, and you go back and change the original file it won't automatically update you'll have to unload it and reload it um, but if you link it you can just kind of keep refreshing it so um, for today's purposes I'm going to link an image and I'm going to go to our thing and I'm going to bring in this sample floor plan. There we go. Obviously that floor plan is way too big and it's not, um, not, uh, not the right scale. So here's what we're going to do to get a scale. Kev, no problem. I will, uh, I reserve the street naming rights for you. Take your time, Meg. No problem. We'll be here for you. Um, I'm also going to take all that and pin it. Um, pinning just means like it's locked in place. I can't accidentally move something. So if I'm moving this guy here, it's all good. So uh, two cups of sugar. This is Revit. Yes, it is. Um, so what we are going to do is scale this um, floor plan to be the proper size. Now, um, the first thing that I'll do is um scale it based on the largest dimension that we've got in this file so sometimes you get lucky and it tells you the overall width we don't have that here um no oh, thank you I, I love you for loving my videos um so what we uh the largest room measurement i think i see on this plan are the garage measurements at 22 by 21. so first thing i'm going to do is measure the depth of the garage and that's coming in at about 40 feet so obviously that's incorrect jimmy what's up my friend welcome welcome um get rid of that garage and add two more beds and a bath adrian we're going to get to modifying it in a sec so stick around and we want everybody's everybody's opinion uh ian i'm still on 2023 because i don't trust new versions <laughs> um okay so here's how i go about doing this um, the first thing I will do is draw a detail line and I'll kind of, so I'm working with, well, here's how, <laughs> so anytime there's a room that's kind of like 20, 21 by 22 and it's hard to tell which dimension is which, um, I'll sometimes just draw a square and so it's, it's longer in the vertical direction, which means 21 is left to right. Okay. So I'm going to draw a line from the inside face of the garage, uh, 21 feet. And that is um, where I should start. That should be the depth of my garage. Uh, shape of the house again? Can't, yeah, sure. It's it's really boring. Uh, we're definitely going to uh, jazz it up a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to pick that image and I'm going to scale it. And I'm going to uh, graphically scale it from there. And then I'm going to go pick like the length of the room and then I'm going to pull it back to that line there and there we go so now the length of that line should be 21 feet exactly which it is if you look right there and we will go from there just looking at some comments can I see the shape of stay in your lane boring that is unique it just needs polishing oh the curve is the the property all right Kev, see what happens. You show up 12 seconds late and everything. So this is our property here. Um, and it looks here. You know what maybe I can do, guys? If you think it helps, um, I will. Let me just put a little. Um, what do I want to say? Like a color to it. And then I will override those graphics in view and just make it super transparent, like I don't know, 90. There. So that's the shape of our property. Yeah, and it's on a golf course too. J just that one, just that one piece. So now when I bring this, so we, we know this, this plan definitely has uh, a ton of space to work with. But it's awful. So, uh, hey, Becky, what's up? What's up? Welcome. Um, so 
part of the conversation for today was how do you go about recreating um, a house on Revit? Like when you have a two-dimensional image or somebody sends you a, a sketch or something like that. And I'm going to show you how. So the first, the, the most critical thing to do is scale it, which we did. Then, Tufted Trail. I need the backstory. Um, so I'm going to go to my list of wall types. And I can tell that this, these exterior walls are brick walls. Now, this plan looks like it's only got two by four exterior walls. And I'm not going to go for that. So we are going to do uh, W... Oh, my keyboard. I need a wired keyboard. We're going to do a W1 here. Um, awesome. Thank you. We decided to parcel land in these regular sets. All right. So now I've got uh, the wall type that I'm going to use because it's an exterior brick wall. And um, turn it right 90 degrees reminds me of the local bird. Oh. Ah, I see what you mean. Okay, cool. I like that. Uh, all right, and then we're just going to zoom in and try our best to pick that corner. And then because it's an image, um, Revit doesn't snap to anything. But I am mindful of things like, I don't know how well you can see that dimension, but it says it's 13 feet there. So that's probably pretty accurate. That's two feet. That's pretty accurate. It's probably done on you know certain increments or certain dimensions. So that's probably 22. That's... Uh, 8, 6 seems right. That's saying it's 19, so we'll go up there. Because sometimes these images aren't 100%. Like, they come in a little bit skewed and stuff. So we're just going to use nice even numbers. 16 inches works for me. 19, 4 is that one. Where do we start here? There. Cool. There we go. Um, yeah, Jelani, that's, um, uh, definitely an option as well. Um, even having the CAD files, uh, would be helpful too, or, or something like that. So, okay, there we go. We have the perimeter stuff up. Now, the next step that we're going to do is, um, all of the interior walls. So again, these are, some are two by four, so I'm just going to do this how, how it would be done in my area. So we need a two by six wall between the house and the garage. So I'm going to do that there, right? And then we're going to jump back down to generally a two by four wall until everything else is where I need it. So take you back there. And that's it, guys. It's pretty, it's almost a therapeutic. <laughs> Um, thing to do. Oh boy, I think uh, I think I need to treat myself to a brand new keyboard. And we're gonna line that up there. And already for, out of the gates, I'm gonna make changes that that drive me nuts, like little walls that don't line up or something like that. Um, and then that guy's gonna come off that corner there. There, there, we're going to take you there and there, there, all right, yeah, you can see how the already changing from 2 by 6 to 2 by 4 um, messes up some things, let me just check this, yeah, that's 19, see, I'm measuring 19 feet, they're saying 19 feet, but they're definitely not lining up, so we're, um, we're working with what we got. So I don't like that. So we're going to line those two there. Like that. How are the comments going here? Make the wall between bedroom and living room two by six in a line with garage. Bedroom. Uh, make the wall between bedroom and living room two by six in a line with garage. You got to tell me why. But keep in mind, we're not we're not working. This house is going to disappear very soon because we're just building it up to break it down. Uh, 
feel like I need some music. I gotta say too, guys, I feel pretty liberated having this um, not go through my phone anymore. Um, uh, this app, this is a program, it's called Revit. Thank you, Kev, for updating on that. I'm at Master Kitchen. So, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's going to happen. But I'm going to have to make the rear porch a little smaller. Uh, looked it up. He's using Revit. We need to do like a... Oh, Kim. Kim pays attention. I just might. <laughs> um... So there, I think that's that's what we were talking about. Um, mm, 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 mm. Okay, so they're like just like that, guys. The walls are up. Um, let's throw in a bunch of doors. Um, what do you guys like for an interior door? Do you just um, uh, hold on back to Chris is asking what keyboard shortcut are you using to switch wall finish switch finish face of wall. Uh, I think what you're asking for there, Chris, is, is a line. So if I had this wall here and I wanted to move this wall up to meet it, I type AL for a line. I pick my source and then my destination, and then they line up to each other, if that's what you're asking for. Uh, I bet the concert was awesome. It, 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 it absolutely is awesome, uh, Kim. And we've gotten to know a couple of guys of the band, so we got to say hello to them after the show, and it was always, it's always a special. Oh, I like you have... Ceiling height and your room tags. Oh, these aren't my room tags. This is this is somebody else's thing. But I do have one of my room tags has uh, ceiling heights. So um, here, let me throw in a bunch of doors. What do you guys like for a standard interior door dimension? Thirty six on master. Is that gonna fit in this one? Yeah, that'll fit. All right. No way. Yes way. Doors to be 813, Jelani, you're killing me with the metric. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to I'm gonna start with, well, because we're going to implode this whole plan. So I'm just going to start with 32s everywhere because that, that's the one that might work the best in most situations. And then it's just easier to come back and swap them all out. Possibly later. That's not going to work there. You're there. Pantry door. Actually, I probably should have even gone smaller to start. Uh, that's a command that I've been using a lot more lately is SA or select all. Um, Becky, I am at uh, an eighth of an inch. We're working at the software is called Revit. Thank you for everybody who answered. Sorry, when doing condos, we use metric. <laughs> no problem. Doris, you want a great wireless keyboard? Go with Logitech MX Keys. Um, yeah, I might need one. Hey, Chris, what's up, buddy? Welcome. Um, all right, so that I would swing that way. That's a front door. We're going to fix that later, though, but we're just getting... Nope, no, no, no. We need an overhead door now. That's a... Double, it's probably a 16 footer in there. No, they went 18, good for them, good for them. Okay, so 18 by eight. There we go, front door, there's some windows in there. We'll deal with that in a sec. Um, let's throw some little closet doors in here. Um, so let's go turn you into a 24, you're a 24. The bathroom's probably a 24. And all right, this is uh see what you're drawing done with. You're going over a scaled image. It was it was just a JPEG uh, that I scaled uh, after I brought it into Revit. Uh, do you double the wall to the master? Um it it really depends. Uh sometimes I do, sometimes um it's a something I talk about with the client in a in a design like this um, they usually want um, privacy from the rest of the house so with the bedrooms on the other side it's probably um, probably not going to be an issue so 
All right here, let's just throw another door in at the back just to see. Oh, you guys gotta excuse me for one sec, just, just managing some stuff here. Uh, some personal juggling stuff. Um, all right, so how do you scale the image? Oh, I bet you we did, we did that at the beginning. Thoughts on front door swinging in versus out. Um, I feel like it should, I, I like them swinging in. I'll always do it. It just feels like you're entering something. Um, you know, I prefer that. Um, yes, this is Revit. Okay, so guys, you can see we've got this house. Um, and we've got tons of room on the property, but let's, let's make it better. Always in. Um, so here are first, first few critiques about this is that swinging out feels like a gas station bathroom. That's the comment of the day. Okay. So, um, we have a lot of options. The first thing that obviously is not going to work is the location of the uh, garage door um, where that's just a little too awkward in its situation there. How formal is entrance? I would like to make a uh, slightly more formal entrance. I mean, this one just walked right into the great room, which is just terrible. So um, it definitely deserves one. Uh, but the great, like it's huge, right? So it might not even have to get bigger. It just might have to just might have to be better. Yeah, the double wall to reduce, reduce. Yeah, you can't just rely on, you know, I've seen a lot of people just stuff a wall full of insulation and it's it, it does very little. It does something, but it's very little. Um, so, let's get to work. Let's get to work. So guys, here's here's the way I thought I would approach this. Um, this is kind of interesting without a camera to hand sketch with now. I could turn the camera on and we could do some hand sketching. But ideally, like I, I love to I love to capitalize on the um, you know natural shape of the property, right? So there's a couple of ways we could we could approach this. Um, it depends how how important that view to the golf course is to us because we've got a lot of room here, um, and so you know one approach we could take uh, actually here. Let me uh, what's the best way to represent this to you guys? Let's go with something red on the screen. Um, going old school manual school. Well, I always manually sketch just to get the ideas down quicker. Customer, do you want more backyard or front street appeal? I think we can do both on this one. So, you know, as a, as a concept diagram, right, we could do something like this, right? That might hug the site this way give us more of a focal point here, give us cool views of the, of the, um, of the golf course behind us and still leave tons of room for a pool or anything like that. Oh, Hey, how are you? I'm going to, I'm going to try to remember how to pronounce your name again. Anisia, Anisia. I'm going to try, I'm going to practice that. How do you do a two level? How to level two in Revit? Um, so Revit, I think by default, comes with like three levels already. If you look at this side, these are all sort of my setup to my standard one. So we have a basement floor, main floor, second floor, roof plan. So they, they should be there. Um, so we could do kind of a, a lazy L shape like that. Um, we could do something... Um, Similarly, the other way, um, we could just, um, 
you know, if we wanted to take the easy way out, oh, I feel a sneeze coming on. Bear with me, guys. Hold on. So we could do something where we just keep the house. <laughs> Did someone say, nobody said roof plan. Uh, Delaney, this is 23. So we could start with something like that and just have it be like that. But that doesn't do much for curb appeal, right? Like it's kind of, I don't know, I feel like the garage is blocking the whole, the whole view. Um, and another thing with pie shaped lots is that they're always tricky. They can be tricky to navigate your car in and out of. Um, so I'm going to undo this back. I like Chris's suggestion here. Let's give that a shot. If we flip the floor plan, what's that going to do? That's going to give the master bedroom. I don't know. I feel this whole like living area um, should be, should get that priority to face the, the nice calm golf course there. Um, Anisia, top, uh, stands for top of footing <clears throat> or bottom of footing. Absolutely no garage door facing the street. Absolutely. We don't have to. On this, and a property like this, we, it doesn't have to be. Move garage to bedroom side facing street. We're contradicting each other here. You're welcome. Um, so I would, so let's take a look at, I'm going to put that back. So before we start uh, chopping this up into a thousand pieces, let's analyze it, right? Um, the point is this. There's a living space in the middle with a covered porch at the front and the back. There's two bedrooms and a bathroom on one side, and there's a, a main bedroom and bathroom ensuite on the other side. That's how I read this, this plan. I'm reading this in three pieces. There's a garage and bedroom, ensuite bedroom. There is a living area. Um, so like kitchen, dining, um, living and porches. And then there is another bedroom uh, area here, right? So I'm reading this as three zones and Right, that's, that's essentially what it is. Uh, golf course is just on one. Golf course is just back here. And maybe for that, I will. I'll do this. <laughs> but not blue, not blue, green. All right, so that's what I'm thinking. Not quite yet. We're still getting on a roll. Lower cases here wants to ask questions, and we're not quite ready there. Middle should be a T inside of a rectangle. Uh, Anisia, we cannot at the moment, so... Um, my thought is going to be this. So I'm going to move here. Let me join all that together. Sure. I'm going to move that out of the way for a sec and think. What's the best way? Um, hmm. Hmm. How would I approach this? I want to see that. Well, first off, okay. Here. I'm going to talk it through because the first thing I want uh, is... Let's say a nice covered patio. Um, 
off the back of the house. And to do that, to do that, we're going to need something like that. Now, hmm. This house, well, let me see if I have a square footage on that house. Because um, I want to just make sure I'm working. Yeah, so this house is only clocking in at like 1,800 square feet. So we, we don't have all the room in the world to work with here. So let's start putting some walls down and see. So if I got something like this, okay, and if I got the kitchen here, um, dining, let's say family room here. I don't mind the family room at the end of the, the run, it kind of gives the widest sort of most panoramic view of, of the golf course in the backyard. And then if we could throw a floor in there, just to represent a back patio for now. Patty up. All right. Rooftop patio for barbecue and views. That could be cool. Can you add the zones and chunks to the new shape floor plan? Like copy paste? I can't, co I'd have to, I can't do that within uh, Revit, so. Yeah, we're, Chris, we're doing a full redesign today. We're just, we're going to make, um, we're going to have some fun with it. but I still think we can keep the essence of it. So if we did that there, um, if we could get a garage somewhere here, You can't, Julie, you can't do that either. <laughs> uh, I need some scale in here now too. So let's get a couple of We did okay hear me out hear me out here guys what if we thanks Kev so wonder if we could get the like the main bedroom somewhere in, in this corner like would that be a cool spot for a bedroom um i've been i've been using revit for about 18 years on and off full time for about eight um Kevin, you are not on Fogo Island right now. For real? We have a viewer from Fogo? My wife will be, my wife is, I was there last summer. Do you know this? Are we, are we cousins? My brother-in-law lives out there and he married a local. 
That's hilarious. Well, welcome. Yes, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Next, we're out. I'm sitting in front porch of BMW kitchen bag. So I want to get some. So let's go, I don't know, 14 feet there. Yeah, Fogo, Fogo's amazing. Actually, all my all my TikTok memories are popping up as uh, all of the uh, the artist residents, so like Squish Studio and Long Studio and all that. <laughs> we visited them all when we were there. Okay, so no, no, you're not doing what I want you to do. Oh my goodness, come on. Angelina. All right, that's amazing. I, I'd love to come back. Like I said, my wife's going this summer um, to visit her brother. So they, uh, yeah, they live in Joe Bat's arm. We, <laughs> we've like had looking at the inn right out our front window. Kevin Coffin. I'm going to ask about you, Kevin. I'm going to... Everybody knows everybody on Fogo, I'm sure. <laughs> awesome. All right. So... thinking Colton yes I'm a solo practitioner uh, have been for 12 years 13 years something like that <laughs> all right so So we need 14, 24. Actually, that's probably enough. How old were you when you transitioned to solo work? I was in my own... In my, I'm reading multiple comments and, and spewing it out. I was uh, in my early 30s. Um, I only do residential work. Uh, no, not true. I... Mm, mostly do res residential work uh, sometimes if if people if it's the right project for the right person i'll do some commercial work but my passion's in the residential To see if we can get this thing in pieces. Let me let me think about something here. Okay. I'm gonna move you guys now over here just, just for a sec. Let me get the original plan back on. Look at what the essence of this one was trying to tell us. So, I still think that there's something in that um, that original, like when I drew the color strips there. Um, I'm going to do an addition to this house. You're calling an audible.
Sometimes starting with a less than awesome plan is harder than just side of the house I feel like like that like I get the approach to that and I want to push this back so that this corner gets a better view of what's going on back there but then it's ju it's just all garage you know so I'm I'd love to love to get that garage back and out of the way Um, we have to stay within this, this dash line here. This, this line here is our building envelope. So we got to stay within that. So as long as we stay within that, we are all set. So we need to find a way to keep this kind of H shape vibe and no problem lands, but maybe make the garage less obnoxious and definitely maximize the views of the garage there. Yeah, thanks, Kev. It, it's, it's, um, there's, the challenge with this part of the process is once you pick the road you're going to go down, you got to you don't want to go too far any get down any given road to have to back out all the way if it's not working. So the the first the early decisions are really critical ones. Ever fitting that floor plan into that weird shape. I want to use the essence of this plan, but um, that's. Um, but make it like you can tell that the plan that we were starting with was a very rudimentary plan. Um, but the property is offering us so much more. Liked when you pulled the left side back. Oh, like, like that? Did that kind of staggered? Look, Jelani, is that what you're... Yeah, I can't wait to add a bonus from up bar. So, so guys, let's 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 play around with this. Okay, so if we didn't, if we weren't so concerned with where the garage was, because this this makes good sense here, <clears throat> from a like ease ease of getting in and out from. Like, could we work on a concept that was like three tiers like this, like? We could do something layered like that, but then it really, like, I don't want this part of the property blocked off by, like, bedroom two and three. So let's maybe make it wider and pull the front wall closer to the street. Yeah, it's even a retractable window wall. Ooh, Anisia spending all the money. Nice. So I'd like to, oh boy, you guys are really seeing the process today. So I want to try something out here too. So if we had something
So if this was a garage, which would probably be a little bit bigger, this could be mud laundry directly into the living room. This could almost be like a cool, like, okay, let's call this like a recessed front entrance, right? Something, we'll throw a door there. Um, I said, Kev, you're in, you're in my head. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about that. But I'm also thinking like, what if, you know, what if we had the main bedroom sort of jetting out like, jetting out like that. Colton saying, angle the garage and connect with the main house with a breezeway. Angle the garage. Okay, so I think what you're saying, it's always hard to. Um, something like that. It's definitely going to be modern, so so I don't mind having, uh, you know, the corners in here to work with. But it's kind of, it's kind of goes back to what we did um, for the concept of, ooh, geez, a few weeks ago, where we did this plan, where it was all ninety degree corners, but it just sat differently on the property, so it looked more angular than it actually was. be what's happening here too so what if we did what if we did something like this deleted that trim that did that what if this was accessed like right outside so I need another door here And then maybe three car. Are you team five year or team four plus two? <laughs> I was uh, four plus two. Is this Revit? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay, so now. Let me look at something like that. We're going to, oh, well, definitely did not mean for that to happen. <laughs> Move those over there and we're going to just say garage for now and mud room entry and something like that stick the building out behind garage next to patio uh, I'm going to see about that because that might block the view from the kitchen. So it depends depends how we're going to have that happen. Oh, 
unless you mean just a little bit. Okay, like two, three feet. So let's let's go with that. Let's go three feet. Oh. Does it have to be attached? I would like it to be attached. Mid-century favorite. Mid-century modern. <laughs> Mid-century favorite. Mid-century. Modern is Julie's favorite. That's awesome. Can you do a portico? Probably. I think we have enough room. So I'm, um, you know, if we had something like this, and I'm just moving pieces around right now. Just, you know, this is the first time we design <clears throat> straight in Revit. Maybe next time we should take it to pencil first. You know, we could do a kind of cool wraparound porch that you could access both from the kitchen, dining room, family room. And, uh, you know, that could be a really cool feature to even have access from the hallway. So if you're coming out of these bedrooms, um, you know, we could have a really nice, nice pool back here. <laughs> Make the entry to the back of glass segment to create the look of separation. I love that. That's where I was headed with this original. Uh, oh, we, we modified it where I had the one that was uh, at a different angle from the rest of the house. I love when it sort of reads as a series of pieces. Um, we might be able to do something like that. Uh, um, here. This will be interesting too, because you know the people that paid for the house generally get this bedroom. These are the other two spare ones. We've got an entry. I'm not loving the garage. I, I'm loving the 90 degree corners of everything. Um, but I want to. I think what Jelani's saying might work, like here. So if we took, um, let's say the whole garage and rotated that maybe so it lined up with the side of the property. You know, if we did something like that, now that kind of sort of flares the plan open. We can push that back a little bit too if we had to. Oh yeah, question of the day, absolutely. Closing date for my retirement property is Thursday. Very excited to send our home. Well, Foxy Cleo, good luck. That sounds, that's a ton of fun. Um, hey, lowercase. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. All right. So while lowercase is up. Okay, no problem. We're on their way up, this is. Probably throw some doors there to help it make it a little more sense. Can so, I say hi? yeah, the microphone's up here. Camera's off, but the microphone's up here. Hi, hi, everyone. I hope you're having a good day slash night wherever you guys are. I know we've got some people from Australia, some people from America, everywhere. Yeah. So, hi. what's what is the question? So. Our theme today is 
You'll never guess it. Food. But I shocked you there. Uh, <laughs> but the category of food is like snack foods. So, my question today is, what is your favorite dip to go with your chips? So, mine personally, an example, is queso and sour cream. I love that with my chips. So, what's yours? There's like guacamole and salsa. So many. Do I know how to spell queso? Is it U-E? Q-U-E-S-O. Smoked salmon. Ooh. My homemade pickle dip. Oh, I love Kim, we we pickles. oh we're gonna you're gonna have to send us send us some. Yes, I would love some. Taco dip rules. Oh, taco dip's the best. Smoked salmon with cream cheese. Oh, I have that in my sushi. I will bring you some when I come down. Are you really? planning? Wait, oh, clarification. Tor tortilla chips. Tortilla chips. Tortilla chips. Queso is good. Queso's queso's very awesome. good. Salsa, Salsa. old school. Classic. Brian's old Classic. school. Yeah. Guacamole, I like that. Yeah. Healthy, very healthy. Can be healthy. Kind of. <laughs> when you yeah. eat like twenty pounds of it, it might might not be. Yeah. Three cheese dip. Wow. Oh. You're Those so you're so much more responsible than, than me. I'm no three cheese. I usually go for the what is it seven layer, um, eleven. Wait, seven layers? Oh, yeah, they're That's just like they keep so at, many. Mm-hmm. Oh, cheese Colton! And sour cream. You are speaking my language. Pedro Mr. salsa. Colton. I get it because of the awesome label. What is Pedro salsa awesome label? Oh, let's see. Oh, you can close those red cross tabs. Oh, I got the email. I got certified. Oh, that, oh, congrats. That is an awesome... There's the label. Oh, that's funny. That's great. Um, Ooh, artichoke and spinach. Dude. Oh, that sounds good, too. i got to stop asking these questions at, like, 9 p.m. when I'm yeah, going to I'm bed soon. I'm already getting hungry. Um, that's a good one. That's a good one. Because dip makes it, right? Like, you can have a subpar chip. Yeah. Um, dip. You could have a terrible, soggy, disgusting chip, and you dip it in queso, and it's good again. Or you dip it in sour cream, and it's good. I, be I believe that. Yeah. <laughs> awesome label. Cool. Okay. Thanks, little case. No problem. All right. Love you. Love you too. But that was fun. 16. What's it do besides one foot? Uh, the program is called Revit. R E V I T. Oh, Anisia doesn't, doesn't doesn't compromise anywhere. Good chips need good dip. End of story. Jacob West joined. What's up, Jacob? Welcome to the live. Do you draw structure too? Uh, yes. Not tonight, but yes. Jacob, what's going on? I hear <laughs> your your aunt tells me you might be interested in architecture. I really need some background music, like some elevator. Like, it seems really fun. It is a ton of fun, Jacob. <laughs> You're going to see a lot of people that are going to tell you not to do it. But listen, Jacob, if you ever want to stop by the office one day or, or hang around for a couple of days around the office and just check it out and see what it's all about, you're absolutely more than welcome to always. Always, always, always. <laughs> Let me 
It's definitely worth it. I think it's worth it. But it is, yeah, Jelani's right. It's very, very much a passion-based profession. What do I got for dimensions here before Kev kicks my ass for having the wrong... Or do it for the money. <laughs> I think the rest of the house should align with the west property line. When you say the rest of the house, where where would you cut this to make it align with the west? So with the west side, because we, I guess we'll call this like the northeast side, east side. It's probably the east side. So just each bedroom out. So leave it facing the golf course. Well, I think I think Kevin, what he's saying is to leave that facing the golf course, but rotate some other part of it. And I'm just wondering where we would separate that. Like what would the you know if we did that? Like just these two bedrooms here. It's going to create a lot of core space. All or nothing. Let's see that 3D. Not sure anymore, just thought, no problem. We're all. Yeah, we need we need more here, guys. Let's let's put away our microscopes just for a second and not hyper critique it too too much at the moment. Let's get all the rooms in. Let's get some windows and doors in and just see what this is. See what we can get this guy to to become. Yeah, I definitely, my fir, my process involved, the first thing is just getting, getting the spaces down. So we've got a garage. Let's say we've got, it's a weird mud room, but we can work on it. Um, we could enter right into the house. We could separate this bedroom here and get a bathroom between it. There's a lot of lot of fat in the middle here though. And I don't I haven't thought through yet. You know, I like this jog here at these corners, so I want that to stay. 10 10. Let's go like 13 for those bedrooms that is for, but then there's no windows you know I thought about that too and all those core spaces are um, you know would be cool to do them as like a, a central core but I'd also want to see some some uh, natural light and ventilation you know not like clear story windows or anything like that something we could reach Maybe make the east wall in the mudroom square with the garage. Yeah, I had it there. 
Checking that. It's my first time being on your live. Really enjoy the shred style commentary. Oh, thanks, Colton. Um, yeah, this is um, we gen we do this generally every Tuesday. I'd say like nine out of ten Tuesdays we're we're here. Uh, we usually design something from scratch. So if you need a quick rundown, first of all, we love having you here. Um, you know, on July fourth, we did a star shaped house. Um, you know, the week prior to that, we found a really awkward property and designed a house for that. Um, actually, we did a, a tiny version of a house that I had designed previously. So actually, I created a whole new um, file because the other one was getting bogged down too much. Yeah, thanks, Kev. There, we, Colton, we also have a, a Facebook group that is called Dory After Dark, where we just keep talking about architecture and design related things um, offline. Maybe pull the dining in and not on exterior wall. That could be interesting. That could be interesting. Let me get some like furniture in here. just for some scale. And yeah. How much is this software? This is subscription-based software. So if you, there's two versions of it. There's like a light version and a full version. So it's anywhere from like 1200 for the light well, 11 or 1200 Canadian per year to like almost 4,000 Canadian per year. I think 3,500 or 3,600, something like that. I don't, we have a few licenses, so I don't know the exact um, individual license. Why are the walls in the dining kitchen? I would keep it up the concept. Uh, it will be. They're, they're kind of placeholders right now, Kim. LT is like 60 a month. Okay. Is that, is that U.S.? Oh, student license, American. Okay, yeah. So, depends on what part of the world we're coming in from. So that's eighteen. So that's a good size there. In this garage, we can sort of massage this how we need to. Let me this I'd like to clean all of this stuff up. So now I'm pretty sure we can get laundry in here. Next trick, or one of the next tricks, there's a million decisions that need to be made. I just joined, can I see a 3D which you got so far? Yeah, let me let me throw a couple more doors in here just so it it makes a little more sense. Um, yeah, I'll throw something there, something there. Um, 3D were something like that so far. Which there's some. No, it's not. Bathroom. Is that what Kim just asked? It's one of them is going to go in the middle here. There will be an ensuite one over here. So let me say bath. And I don't know, somewhere there. And I would love to, to work a two piece in somewhere. 
Pull the entry wall down so there's interior wall for coat closet. Like, I just had that in mind as a closet. Um, what kind of style are you aiming for? Um, definitely like a modern to contemporary style. Um, that's why I'm trying to work with, you know, aligning corners at the front and back, but still having some uh, jogs in the plan that we can sort of embellish once we get to the exterior. It's almost seven feet wide, so we could square off the back of it if we had to, um, to make it work. Oh yeah, what do you, do you, you sell plans online? Are you an architect? What's your, what's, what's your thing? It's kind of sad actually it's totally sad because it's you know i always i always have this this thought where it's like you know people people want the modern of everything right they want the, the latest car the latest phone the latest tv the latest computer the latest tech but they want to put it all into like this old looking house how do you get to the kitchen from the bedroom um eventually i'll have some openings in this wall or won't have that wall at all but that's too open so i i could see something like this happening um where we have a core of something maybe it's a staircase to the basement um you know maybe it's um some linen closets maybe it's some um, my client wants ten thousand rustic cabins I really wish some people would take a leap and try more modern style, but no one wants to be the odd one out. What do you mean 10,000 rustic cabinets? <whistles> right. Don't forget your mechanical space. That, if we... Um, Oh, 10,000 square foot rustic cabins. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nothing says warm and fuzzy, like 10, 10,000 square feet. Um, mechanical space will probably go in the basement. Because um, we've got this. Started selling designs for garden suites. Yeah, I'm going to be, I've got a whole catalog of drawings that are going up soon. Um, which I love. Yeah, I put all my mechanicals in the corner in the basement, usually behind a flush hidden door. Oh, cool. Cool. Yeah, for, and this shapes, this is shaping up pretty good for mechanicals and load bearing. Like it's a long, thin structure, so. I want to eventually have a house built from scratch. It's the most rewarding thing ever. It'll test your patience like nothing you've ever done in your life, but it's uh, it's worth it in the end. Excuse me for one sec, guys. Like it was it was nice and bright outside when I started, and now it's really dark in here. So what? I think this is much better now. Much, much better. Oh, Wendell's behind me. I didn't even know it. Hey, Dory, what's the best way to learn Revit quickly and efficiently? Just w watch us every Tuesday night? No. Well, yeah, that'll help. Um, it's It's got to be YouTube tutorials. Um, and I, I know that's super cliche, but start with a guy named Balkan Architect. Um, uh, he's so... Um, until I get my courses up and ready, go work, go check out his stuff. 
and just start with the basics, how to draw a wall, how to insert a window and a door. Um, so am I to expect gray hairs after this build? Gee, thanks for the heads up. Kim, no problem. It all depends who your architect is, you know? Bro, I love Balkan. He helped me a lot. Yeah, Balkan's great. I'll try to make a small house. Yeah. LinkedIn Learning is good if you have a library card. Oh, cool. Oh, putting a door in a curtain wall is the, the most frustrating thing ever. Oh. Yeah, the info's out there. Honestly, it just literally Google whatever you want to do, and someone's got a short video on how to do it. Um, so... How do we feel about... I was wondering, like... How do we feel about laundry rooms in the core like this? You know, right near right near the bedrooms. I actually did a video on this today saying how the washer and dryer should be should definitely be um, near the bedrooms because that's, um, that's where it is. Don't like bedrooms being so close to the front door. Utility, at least eight by eight. Um, yeah, so you, the, the proper utility, utility for like um, furnaces and whatnot, that's all gonna go down in the basement. Um, YouTube rocks, taught myself to tile, build sheds, put up the pool for me too. Might be a tight space for laundry. Yeah, 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 it's not, um, um, you know what I'm going to do? Let me get some stairs going in here from basement floor to top of first floor. How wide are these? Three, six, shape. Let's do that. So let's say let's maybe wall off that with a door like that, Kev. Is that what you're saying? Pocket door. Ooh. Oh, I don't want this to happen. Hold up. Hold up. It might be tight for laundry. Sisters, can you make it two feet so it can be a closet? Also makes laundry bigger. I see what you're saying about the no door, but that's a long haul around. Unless we somehow made this like a, a pass through. photography um laura's asking what firm mm, i might be missing the context of that question it's a private space i don't know it doesn't seem like a long walk 
closed off by mass just pass through. What firm do you work? Oh, I, I run my own firm, Laura, um, called Dory Azar Architect. So clever. I know. I know. <laughs> um, okay, so this is this is something. So if we come on. So if we brought this all out another foot. I do I depend, I do own my own practice and I have two employees that work for me. So yes, I'm independent. Push door into corridors so it does open in the space. I'm an architecture school right now, War Eagle. What's up, Laura? What's um how how deep into architecture school are you? Laundry yeah, laundry is too big. Laundry is definitely too big. So there's still a lot wrong with this plan, guys. So we gotta figure out like all of this, you know, I'd rather you know, maybe turn that into like a big walking. That might make a better entry closet. Um, <laughs> hey, Dory. Isn't that weird to say? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I love it. A fifth year Bachelor of Arts, about to go. You're going to rural? Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> so weird to hear. Guys, there are two Dorys on Dory After Dark right now. How crazy is that? I always I always wondered when, you know, two people name like Bob met each other. Like, did they find it weird? But this is weird. Make laundry a half bath. Jelani, that's a great idea. That's the spot for it. Um, or somewhere around here. One one of these spaces. They're going to start to solve themselves now. Um, guys, talk to me here. Where? Oh, okay, here. I'm going to clean this up a little bit. Uh, come on. Can you get your Wendell snoring in the background? Okay, so is this... Where do you guys think the powder room should go? One, two, or three? Love it. We're two unicorns in one space. The world may be ending. I just... I just uh, I, I just love the fact there's multiple doors here. I'm so excited. I didn't know so many people knew about it. Oh my God, I have a book. Uh, the book's at um, the office, but yeah, I have the Rural, stu rural Studio book. Um, more local to the bedroom. So we're looking powder room. Hey, I'm, I'm just giving options here. Two, see, Jelani thinks it should go there. One and three will be stinking up the joint. One. And I'm not saying exactly those spaces, guys. I'm just saying, like, relative to the... Yeah, I can zoom out a bit, Kristen. No problem. There you go. Like, you know, is this here? Like, I don't know. The door might be here for num for three. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's, like, you know, in a corner. But, I mean, just in general, in proximity to the other rooms. No bathroom by front door. That's insane. <clears throat> Happens more than you think. Like, it should should it be near the back porch? Like, for quick... You know, visitors or anything like that. If the bath between the bedrooms are open to the corridor, then absolutely no to number one. So what you're saying is don't, you don't want to see it there. powder by the mudroom. Could do that. 
and tuck it in area three. So here, let's let's try something because it doesn't seem like there's a consensus here. So let me um, drop some things in. <laughs> let me drop some. Never mind. Uh, yeah, backyard access. No, the bath between the bedrooms at Jack and Julio. Uh, this, but now that we're doing another powder room, I think we can absolutely make this uh, Jack and Jill. So however those are going to shape up, we can solve that in a sec. But yeah, that that could be that. Haley Fortune, hello. Hello, hello. If you pull the whole house left, area three is a bigger option. There's a lot of room here too, guys. Let's Let's... Be aware of that. But I also don't mind. Okay, so I'm gonna like I love these like extra spaces in, in garages just for like garbage pails and bench work benches and you know nothing saying the inside of a garage has to be a regular space. This could be a nice walk-in entry closet. Um what is area three? <laughs> it, it's terrible right now, but I'm thinking like if there was that was a powder room. I uh, would recommend closing the gap because it would be chaos if someone in dining saw someone in bath. Yeah, that's another argument for, for doing the Jack and Jill bath. So, yeah, anybody here looking down. Um, it's cool. Away from garage. Never mind. The door is gone. Thanks, Dory. I'm going to see you next Tuesday. Awesome, Colton. I hope you're back. Um, definitely see you next Tuesday. Door on left wall in garage. Um, to enter the house, like to do that. You don't want guests traipsing, traipsing through the home. Okay, interesting point, interesting point. Yeah, we could have that shortcut. Um, that's no problem. That's no problem. Exterior door and garage to take trash out without opening garage door. Oh, cool. Yeah, so something like... Well, some version of this. What do you guys think of that idea? That's not a bad idea. We don't need two doors in the garage. Waste of space. So ditch that one then. What do you guys think of this door, though, to take trash out, though? Have an easier, easier time. But also, can left garage wall be angled to the rest of the house? Yes, but I still... Ooh, how is that going to look? Let me... Probably don't want that, so we'll probably have to keep that a little bit there and do something like that. And, you know, however we would massage that. Move that door to the right, then you don't have two doors on the front. Uh, dog snoring? Yes. <laughs> Just keep the glass aspect of the entry clean. What software is this? Wendell. Wendell is my dog. Yeah, so the garage is super weird shape, but I don't I don't care. Like that that doesn't bother me one little bit because I think there's always there's always a way to do something with that. <laughs> I can get into the angles and everything gets weird. Exterior garage. Yeah, so we could do something like that. And that becomes a whole other exterior design challenge too, is how do you prioritize this door and downplay that door? What is the name of the app? Um, this is a software called Revit, R-E-V-I-T. Can we cut 3Ds even all for all of them? Haley, only because you ask so super nice. Absolutely. Let me uh, let me just throw a couple more doors in here just to sort of decorate it a little bit. Um, let me get a couple of... Oh, am I fat in it? No, we're okay. Yeah, I'm just going to throw a bunch of patio doors along the back um, so that when we jump to 3D here, it's just going to give us a sense. 
Um, I've been a really rude host, guys. I, I want to say thank you to... There's a whole like list of gifts that have popped up, and I've been so locked in on comments uh, that I've missed the gift window. Um, I'm ho using this whole new interface now <laughs> so that we can stream it differently, and so my eyes are all over the screen. So, uh, Anis um, Anissa, I'm going to get your name right, I promise. <laughs> Anissia, Colton, and Zavi, thank you guys for for the... Uh, the gifts there. Okay, so 3D just... Oh, look at our stairs poking through down to the basement. You know, let me... Uh, let me throw a floor under this and then we can kind of walk around just a little bit. Nope. Too many buttons there. <laughs> oh, Anisha! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Believe me, as I've had my name ruined and screwed up a million times too. So there we go. Okay. Oh, look at the comments are flooding in now. All right. Cut that mudroom in half and add a second kitchen. Oh, how do we feel about that? Second kitchens. What if you take the garage front wall to the left and connect to the bedrooms? Then do double fronts. Let me read that again. What if you take the garage front wall to the left? Hmm, not sure I'd follow that. I've been trying to teach myself Revit this week. This is helpful thing. Hey, no problem. So where are we at? Spice Kitchen. Do we want Spice Kitchen? It's an Indian name, it means destroyer of darkness. It's awesome. Does this software work with prefabricated cabins? Uh, it, you, you make it do whatever you want it to do. So yeah, it does have uh, prefab capabilities. Kitchen, like outdoor kitchen? No to the second kitchen, <laughs> more to clean. I think they mean have the garage door to the side of the front wall. From left of garage to line up with the bedroom by the entry. Oh, like like that? Like bring it way out like that? No second kitchen. Is that what you mean, KM? Uh, you know, another option we could do too is like... Um, no, I'm not doing that, Julie. Don't worry. <laughs> um, we could do... I did this um, recently is I did like an outdoor um, bathroom that was built into the house and was only accessed from the exterior. So uh, if you had a pool in the backyard or anything like that, you'd have a separate outdoor bathroom so that people wouldn't have to come into the house. This is a lot of garage. But I think, I think there's a lot of people here that wouldn't have a problem with that. So let's say that's have the, I'm going to guess that's supposed to say bathroom, both outdoor and indoor. Interesting. Depends where you live. I don't need homeless living in my pool bathroom. Uh, this is on a golf course, so it probably wouldn't be the case. Plus they have locks and stuff. Outdoor kitchen is nice. Would make it easy to get for my garage to back here. Oh, we do. That is another thing we could think of here too. Is uh, just having, <laughs> now this garage is getting really messed up. No, I don't want to do that. I want to do it parallel to that.
Don't forget the name of the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, remind me again. It was t Tuft. Sorry, Kev. Run one more time. Just, just thinking about something here, guys. One sec. Let me jump back here to 3D, and <clears throat> you guys can take a look while I process something here. Tufted Trail. Okay. I don't even know if you could have a trail and a crescent, but for Kev, we can do it. What's the difference between this and AutoCAD? AutoCAD only draws in two dimensions. Um, this is sort of building it in three dimensions. You need to fix that front entry. What are you identifying as the main problem with that entry? Agreeing that it's not complete yet. Um, none of it's complete. That's what's the beauty of this. It's all, all in progress. Every room needs to be fixed right now. This kitchen's pretty weird too, guys. We don't have a lot of rooms, a lot of walls for, for cabinets here. That's too much going on in the garage. Bring it out flush with the garage. Well, I, I, I'm going to reserve this space for for a porch or something like that. Can we add a spice rack or something under the stairs? Those stairs are going to the basement, so we don't have under the stairs. Uh, I'm going to do five islands now. <laughs> How many islands is too many islands, guys? Um, need railing around the stairs, no walls. <laughs> I agree with that one trillion percent. And before we, we wrap this guy up, we'll definitely do that. I think we can get a four foot island. We can, we can get a big, big island here, guys. Not that one. Well, five is too many. Yeah, so we can do that. And let me draw. Before I get beat up, let's draw a railing made of glass. Offset from path, let's go two inches. There we go. I bet he puts glass block in the foyer. Absolutely. Glass block coming right up. <laughs> so there we got a little. Oh, is my floor too low? Why is everything? Oh, the floor is set to the to grade. I don't want that. I want the top of first floor. There we go. like with no roof on it yet. You can feel this. 
right, so let's take a look, see how, yeah, that hallway is nice and private now, with no doors there, it's nothing too inviting there. I do mostly houses at my firm. Yes, uh, thank you, KM. The software is, is pretty cool. Um, let's go see how weird that garage is now. Oh, I gotta trim that floor out of there. That yeah, garage is pretty crazy, but not, not that crazy. We could do like a little overhead door at the back there. In the future, we can definitely um, do that. Uh, how can you and I connect outside of TikTok? Um, it depends what you want to connect over, but Instagram is usually the easiest if you want to just have a quick chat or you can email me uh, through my website, which is in my bio, um, or you can follow Dory After Dark on Facebook, you know, whatever. Now that's cool. Awesome. Uh, what if we get rid of the odd space in the mud area by continuing the wall toward the garage? Oh, Haley, I wish I... Can I get this site plan and create my own? You can do a screen cap right now if you want. Perfect, looking for some builders. That's all, pick your brain. Where are you from? Are you nearby? Do I know you? I don't I don't see names. I only see like usernames. Oh, okay, cool. Um all right, so so from the main entrance, we don't have a door that leads to the bedroom. So when you walk in, we're going to see kitchen. And that is going to mean we're going to need some pretty cool windows. Um, when did that work? Oh, because I'm. We will design these um, better after. <laughs> oh, they're being put on the spot. to eat dinner. Hey, lowercase. Time to wrap it up. All right. I finished the plans for the game. Hold on. We're still online. So. My partner wasn't texting back. Okay. We'll chat in a bit. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh, wait, can I say goodnight? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Hi, everyone. I'm back. For uh, a second. Well. Okay. Mom's, mom's in there, too. Okay. So. I'm back for a second, um, but I am going to sleep because it is way too late for me. <laughs> so, I just wanted to say good night, have a good night, or have a good day, depending on where you are, and we will see you next Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Good night, everyone. All right, I'll uh, see you in a bit. Mm. Okay. Um, okay. Good night. Thanks, everybody. I can't stay because I need to drive a kid to trumpet. Terry, always so busy. Attaching a photo, but... Oh, also adding... To you that put Google Maps and spread it. Through SketchUp. 
Hey, Frankie's here. What's up, Frankie? I'm thinking, okay, so now that I'm like, I probably don't want laundry backing on to a bedroom. I know we can soundproof that wall and stuff, but why, you know. Um, I'm thinking about what to do there. Okay, have a good night. Thanks for stopping by. Ooh, egg and toast is like, love that. <gasps> Eliana's here, bonjour. How you feeling, Eliana? Awesome, awesome, glad you're doing well. Haley saying, can we get rid of the odd space in the mudroom? I'm gonna make it odder. Does does this drive anybody crazy? <laughs> there we go. It's a masterpiece. No, Dora, I'm just, just play, I'm just playing, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. Um, okay, so I, <laughs> the house of a thousand doors, sounds like a horror movie. Okay, so I have this, so, for a second, we're not going to do that. We're going to put a bathroom. And I want your opinion, guys. So can you go through a mudroom to get to a bathroom? Would Is that something you make your guests do? Uh, this will render it, but it's not it's not really good. Um, but it does it does render. So would you walk through the mudroom to get to the bathroom or do we do something like um, pantry, Kim Monster pantry. If we did, okay, let's say we did a pantry there and I'm just thinking out loud for a sec here. We want to do something like this. Not cool with the bathroom right off the kitchen. Many aren't. That's why I asked about going through the mudroom to get to the bathroom. Inside a large one. Yeah, Jelani, we can we can do that. That might be a good. That might be a great walk-in closet, or we keep it close to that. Let's make those walls straight. We'll straighten them out in a second. I just want to get the, the flow of the rooms worked out. But, you know, is that bathroom far enough off? Or can we do, you know, that's really small for bathroom. Bathroom is far enough. Kim gets her pantry. 
Dory doesn't get in trouble. Julie must blow up the bathroom. <laughs> you know what? Speaking of bathroom, let's get some fixtures going here. appreciate you. Is you talking to me? I appreciate you too. <laughs> oh, good night, Terry. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, Julie, that is Wendell. You can hear him clacking his way around. Are you familiar with the printing machine that prints the whole layout? Like a 3D printer? Amy Baker's here. <laughs> Applause for Miss Baker. How you doing, Amy? Can you do a secondary door on that bath for your outdoor bath concept? We could. I don't know if I love that idea, but um, I just weirded out by two ways into a bathroom. Like someone's gonna prank you. <laughs> what has head and legs? It doesn't sleep in nowhere. Can the mudroom have double doors? Absolutely, it can. Uh, do you want them facing the hallway here or facing the main house? layout on large scale or are you talking about the one in the um, like in the warehouse where they sort of project it on the floor yeah we'll 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 work all these little details out in a sec i'm just happy to get the rooms into place <laughs> they've taken valuable wall space so you're saying here somewhere here oh not that way though Okay. Buying doors is, is going to cost a fortune. <laughs> Not as much as the landscape design is going to cost. Do you know who we hired for this job? This is not a great kitchen. Hmm. <laughs> really running out of room for appliances, you know? Hey, just joining. I'm an interior designer in Miami. Can you do a brief about this project? Yeah, absolutely. Welcome, welcome. How are things in Miami? So what we are doing tonight is we, as we do it every night, <clears throat> pardon me, every Tuesday night, um, we get together and we design a house from scratch. And it's usually based on some kind of parameters. Uh, on the 4th of July, we did a star-shaped house. The week before we did this, we found a triangular property. So we decided to design a house for that. Um, we designed a tiny home version of a house that I designed in real life. So we just kind of pick something to work on and we we work on it so today was um something from scratch but on a more 
traditional property, you know, something like a, in a cul-de-sac or a pache property, but we just gave it the extra touch of being on a golf course. So it's got some kind of, uh, it's, um, got a nice view at the back with some measure of privacy. <laughs> so thank you for joining from Miami. So this entry is massive and I might have to, okay, bear with me guys. Kim, don't murder me. Don't harm me or anything like that. I'm just, just testing stuff out here. Okay. I need to test something here. What if this was our pantry? Actually, no, let me do these here. Oh, you're very welcome. Thanks for thanks for tuning in. I hope I hope you stick around and come back in future weeks too. Um, we might have to. I might need more kitchen area. Not much, but maybe just a little bit more. something like that. I may have to explore that a little bit. I appreciate you for all the valuable information. I appreciate you for being here. I love sharing this stuff with you guys. I really do. Safe space story. <laughs> That's what they all say, Kim. The software is not free, but this valuable time that we spend together is totally free. Okay, so this this part of the job takes time, like getting the rooms and where they belong is one, but the second you start compounding angles like this, it gets really tricky to, to finesse them all. This could be a really neat, like, little library space off the family room or something. What do you guys think of that idea? Like, what if we had, um, I don't know, like a little chair here and some bookshelves. Yeah, something like that. Den home office, office boss, stone fireplace. Where's the fireplace? It's coming. There's a couple of plants there as well. Glass partition, martini bar. Wait, we have to start over. We forgot about the catio. <laughs> office space again. Okay, let's 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 do that. Let's. Can I, it it could be. You know, I don't like to have your back to a space, but it could be, oh shoot, that's not what I want. Um, we could do something like that, a little desk, so at least you're looking out and about. Um, but then the laundry is back to being small again. So we'd have to find that right balance of what we want each, how we want each of these rooms to function. We get some comments here. Oh, this is good. Have no fear, this architect is here. 
welcome. It's a house that literally has a fireplace in every bedroom. The laundry is shaking your desk. Is that like a triple entendre, Julie? I'll share it on Facebook if I can get it to work. It's getting hot in here. Just get rid of the laundry. <laughs> it, it would be a very cool... Yeah, we could throw the laundry in the mudroom or... This could be laundry. I mean, I don't love having it next to that bedroom, but... garage is massive <laughs> but that's okay no laundry by main entry but it's accessed off the hallway by the bedrooms does that change your opinion Uh, take care, Jelani. Good to see you back out here, man. I haven't, I haven't seen you in a while. I thought that was a front hall closet. It was. It was. But we got a lot of room here. Like, this is a pretty wide entryway, so we could... Um, you know, we're about 12 feet wide here. Hot water tank. We're going to... We've decided to put all the utilities down in the basement. So, staircase down here. And we, we'd find the right space to put those. Likely by an exterior wall, so we could vent them... Better. So if we get rid of one here, that's gone. Actually, this could be offset three feet. Sure, we could pick new hosts with those. How about a nice central closet like that? A big closet between laundry and entry. Yeah, we could do that now that. Could we do that? Possibly. Let's try that. No, I think that's, we can do it this way. But I wouldn't want to, I don't know, let's. Garage door moved decide so it's only seen once you approach the front door like here that that'll have a different implication because if we have steps coming up to this front door or something like that this door would be on grade so we can we can keep that in our back pocket move that entry point down so you can have an l-shaped kitchen and pantry but that's really gonna mess with our mud room Meg's back. What's up, Meg? Okay, let's let's circle back to something we know here, though. How are we feeling about this, like, office space here? Or library space, or, or you know, we've called it a bunch of things. Yes, sir. Let's see today. Zoom in a little bit. 
I like this lot so far. Thanks, Kev. Love the drive through garage bay. Awesome. Thanks, Frankie. Yeah, you gotta get gotta get the the big stuff through to the back, right? I would move in. Sold, Haley. Sold. Got a piece out. See you next week. Awesome, Kim. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you again soon. I would take away the entry closet. Too crowded. It's looking good, Dory. Going to work on those dips. Have a good night. Thank you for stopping by again. It was always nice to see your name pop up. Um, I get to work. We'll talk to you soon. Main front door needs to be double door. Not to be confused with the garage door. The rooms have privacy, which is nice. Looks very good. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Guys, you you know, one thing that I always uh, find interesting about these lives is there's a lot of us that are agreeing on a lot of things. You know, and keep in mind that if I was designing this for any one of you, we'd we'd tweak it within an inch of its life to make sure that it was perfect just for you. Um, but to, to, ha to have consensus with this many people is pretty, pretty cool. y'all be coming back oh that makes me so happy looking forward to seeing you next week and whenever just follow along and comment anytime you want it's amazing here how so many people can come together and agree oh thanks guys <laughs> frankie you're right it's it's uh i appreciate the lack of ego on these lives so Man, and the guys, we did this in less than two hours, you know, it's, uh, these are usually really long, like much longer processes than two hours. I think we may have to start, uh, buttoning it up here. Let's say no to that. I can see it's putting a door here for linen stuff. Trust the process and trust story. Oh, well, thanks, Frankie. I appreciate that. How should we bill you for giving these floor plans? <laughs> oh, love it. Love it, love it, love it. See this intrigue? Oh, no, I'm not doing that now. No, no, no. I immediately go the other direction. I love how opportunistic or capitalist you are. Just to say we did. Your survey is going to hit you with that building envelope. <clears throat> but hold on. I've given him a wall parallel to the property line. So that's that's got to be worth something. <clears throat> Dory, are you in Toronto anytime soon? I will be in August. Can't feed my kid babies. Well, neither can I. Can I? This, but he only pays in maple syrup? Meg throwing the stereotypes up from Australia. Jeez. <clears throat> only if the GC can manage to no go over the setback. <laughs> There's enough room on the other. I mean, if we had to bump it over a little bit to make him a little more comfortable, we could do that. What program is this? This is a program called Revit. Uh, do you have time for a tour just north of the city? I will be there with my uh, oldest daughter, so she, so probably not on this one. I'm just going to make a special trip up one time, Frankie. <laughs> like, I, I want to see what you got up there. Garage should be a little deeper. 24 doesn't leave a lot of room on either end of the vehicles. Uh, I love telling people that line helps close deals. 
Revit. I'd make the full bathroom between the bedrooms open into the hall. Then you can lose the half bath. Oh, Dan, you're coming to start fights. Coming to start fights. We spent a lot of time making sure that that didn't happen. Uh, family vacay to Australia when? Uh, so, Frankie, yes, you're, you're on my radar. We got it. Um, oh, Meg, if I come to Australia, you're going to know for sure. Don't worry. Um, I was there like 20 years ago. And make that whole space big mud room. Uh, please stop in Chatham on the way there or back. Jamie, I'm going to be in Chatham on Thursday. Literally this week, like two days from now, I'll be in Chatham. No losing half bath. Okay. So guys, I, th I think we finally reached the, the nitpicking point of the evening. Got a thing against Jack and Jill, I was so biased. Fair enough. And like I said earlier, Dan, if you and I were, if, if I was working with Dan on this project, we, would, we wouldn't have that. We would find a different way to do things. Um, but <clears throat> trying to design one home that 30 people can agree on, we're pre we, we've done pretty good. Yeah, let's do another big patio door there off the master bedroom. <laughs> so... It's a giant master bedroom. It is, but I don't think the, I don't think, we didn't really get to the ensuite stuff, but I don't think those are going to be big enough. So we, by the time we get these to a size, yeah, like eight by, you know, 11 or so, I think that'll be, that'll make things better. Kevin, 11. It's the family program. It's <laughs> okay, I guess it's not anymore. <laughs> Sorry, John Lee is starting to throw my ideas and after most of the decisions have been made. Oh, all good, Dan. We're just we're just teasing. But yeah, this was a this was a quirky one tonight, so it went went in a few different directions and um exactly what I hate clients doing. Well <clears throat> it's uh no. It's all good. No no worries. Yeah, we started at eight tonight, so we've been at it for a little bit. My master needs to be 18 by 20 at least. The largest, so this one we've got is say 15 by 16, something like that. Oh, now the yawning is coming. Now the yawning is coming and we've been on for almost two and a half hours. But the last thing I was waiting for this evening before we wrap up the night has just happened. So I think we can start to dial it down and um, maybe wind up, start to uh, maybe throw a couple more plumbing fixtures in and then we'll call it a night. So let's say, okay, we got a yeah, this bathroom is huge too. Um, and let's put vanity. Let's make that a double vanity. Because Jack and Jill need to brush their teeth. Uh, whatever, we'll recenter those. What was Lowercase's question this week? Um, lowercase wanted to know what your favorite dip was for tortilla chips. Uh, do you want to say what you can't you slide that closet door closer to the front door? Then move things so you can get at least more counter. Oh, I'm not following Julie. Hold on. Dory is blushing. Why is Dory blushing? <laughs> can include a pool. Oh, uh, you know what? We got to we got to do a pool. Oh, it is blue already. Look at that. All right. Let me go here. Do you want a lap pool, Eliana? 
Jill has a lot of counter space. anymore. Yeah, what a lame -o. Such a mature word, lame -o. Okay, guys, I think we're... Oh, where's my keyboard? It's crapping out again. Oh, that is too high there, but that could be a cool little, like, shelf area there. Park the trucks, please. Mm -hmm. Are you done? No, but a couple minutes, then I'll come see you, okay? Bye. Is Alice home? I yeah, 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 she's home. Okay. How? Papa. Okay, so I'll meet you there. Okay, trucks are parked. Oh, Max is... I'll pass that along, Meg. She just uh, disappeared for a sec. Chevy or Fords? These are F-150s. Oh, thank you, Meg. I'll pass it along to her. Well, guys, I think this is the point of the night where I say, well, we wrap it up. Um, no, I'm just having a board race. <laughs> like, it's just what it's just what I found online. Don't kill me, Frankie. Born and raised in Oshawa. One of my, I did a really funny video about that toilet in, the, in a staircase one time in Oshawa. I don't know if you remember that one. Make trucks parallel to wall first. You see me trying to cheat that, eh? There you go. There we go. Face reveal. I did, uh, did we hit 10,000 likes? No, I'm, I'm showing much less than that. You can tell her sour cream and corn relish. Sour cream and corn relish. Yeah, we're not even close to 10k likes. I'm seeing 1300 on my side. I don't know if you guys are get the same number. I know sometimes you guys have. Yeah, so I've got 27 feet here going for this garage right now. Uh, yeah, so in 3D, guys, we're like that. And then if you wanted a walk around, you know what, for Julie, just for Julie, it's a huge garage, it's a huge garage. It's the one. Okay, quick one. Well, you know. Just keep it down. Yeah. Um, all right. So before Julie... I'm going to throw a roof on this thing. I have no idea how this is going to look because it's, um, you know, it's a really regular shape and it would require a whole design exercise on its own. But let's give it a shot here and then I got a bolt. So. This is just a quick and dirty roof just to see 
wonder if this will even generate it, you know? Sweet potato and cashews, my psycho fave. You may have to send a list over. That sounds, that, all that stuff sounds fantastic. Garage can never be big enough. <laughs> I was waiting for someone to come in with that. Underside of first ceiling. Oh, I can't even make the footprint. Um, let's try this. How else can I do this? Need to call it a night for me. Bye, guys. Bonne nuit, tout le monde. Good night, Eliana. Um, okay, where? Now, why is it not picking mine? I'm going to take you all the way across like that. Is that going to work? No, it doesn't want to generate that roof. There must be something. You know what? I bet you there's something that's not parallel. There's something else here, like something that's off just. Hmm. <laughs> okay, let me try this way now. This is all for you, Julie. You just you gotta recognize that. Well, okay, so that I omitted the patio and it's working. So there must be something about the geometry there. And there's our roof that's taller than I'd probably go with it, anyways. Oh, good night, Haley. Ooh, Revit. Hi, welcome. There, Julie, that's, that's your roof. I might want to try something like that there. I think it's a little deeper covering at the front porch, but that kind of made it a little more boring. But I wouldn't, I don't like these, all these hip roofs. I think there's, there's a lot of opportunity here to do some cool. Um, <laughs> with no windows and no nothing, but from a curb appeal perspective. Slap roof and send the side door for the garage needs to move. Jelani, I, I said goodnight to you already. <laughs> it's a slab roof. You're thinking flat roof. No, there's, there's, I, I almost don't even want to show this because there's a whole other way to approach that with various ceiling heights. And I was dreaming about that. <laughs> Two hour home design for sale. Looks good. Thanks, Frankie. Yeah, it's, it's exhausting. It's a lot of work for two hours. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. It's is. It's been fun with you guys again, for sure. Um, yeah, so I'm going to save that. And then... Uh, I sent you what I meant about the closet. Okay. And let me go back to the floor plan that you're talking about. Doesn't it look the same? Which door am I? I do, okay. I didn't do it. <laughs> I was gonna say it looks the exact same. Uh, okay guys, let's let's do a little um dang it. 
mom there. It's still a mess. <laughs> yeah, it needs more love, but I see where you're coming from. <clears throat> okay, guys, I think it's time to, um, to pack it up. Um, you should be a professor. Thanks, Jamie. It, uh, it crosses my mind from time to time. I'm not going to lie. There's the, the late night honesty. <laughs> um, I used to teach at St. Clair College um, a bunch of years ago. And I enjoyed it. really liked it. Um, pack it up, pack it in. Let me begin. I came to win Battle Me. That's a sin. All right. Oh, awesome, Frankie. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Late night honesty. Um, yeah, better get off before the rest of the honesty comes out. <laughs> so, uh, as always, uh, love you guys. This has been, this has been awesome. Always fun. And, uh, everyone have an amazing next 24 hours, next seven days. Uh, maybe we'll see you on Facebook. Maybe we'll just catch you here next, next Tuesday. But either way, I'm grateful for everyone's time for being here, for hanging out with me. And, uh, yeah, it's uh yeah, Northern Trailers. It's good to, good to have you back here too. Um awesome. You guys rule. We will do it again very soon, like 7 days ish. If we're being honest, we'll at least win the cup in your lifetime. No, they won't. Um but I plan to live a long time, so maybe they will. All right, I need happy thoughts to go to bed, Jamie. I, we can't talk leaves now. It's just gonna Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. Everyone, have a great night. <laughs>